You are a scrappy young man with a humble beginning. Mm -hmm. you, you've come to be extremely wealthy. I mean, how does that, did, did you, at what point in your career did you become, be like, oh shit, I'm like, I'm a wealthy guy? Well, in the broom closet, um, we did $200 one night. My brother and I were jumping up and down because <laughs> we thought we were rich. Yeah. So <clears throat> we've always made a good living. Um, no, but come on. There's a difference. <clears throat> okay, well, we're gonna put, there's yeah. a difference between like, you know, a couple hundred thousand, $10 million. Um, when we went public in June of 93, I didn't have $5,000 to take the family on a trip. Really? You went public yeah. with that and, little money? And then the next day I was worth $100 million. What? I was 31. Holy shit. So that was the day when we, we did, because really? that was stupid money. It's thir Whoa. You're 31 years old and you make $100 million. So, you don't, there's no way you know how to handle that. So what happened? Well, you go off the deep end for a few years. What'd you do? What'd you <laughs> oh, buy? <laughs> what, everything. Tell you know, me. You, no, you, you What's just, the dumbest thing you yeah, bought tell that, me you, I'm. that you spent, like, ridiculous... Bought a boat. That's about as stupid as yeah. Boats gets. are expensive. Um, eh? <laughs> bought, a, bought a Dodge Viper. Thought that was cool till I got pulled over in it. Um, <laughs> but um, I think what's that I, like to get that one? Phone? Okay, the I've never met somebody that's successful that was arrogant and pompous that in a short period of time became unsuccessful. And so, no matter how successful you are, you got to stay gracious. You got to stay thankful. Come on, you, you got to stay humble. And it, when you make a hundred million bucks at thirty-one, you know you you got to have uh, some people around you to do some pruning mm -hmm. to make sure you don't think you're as smart as you think you are. And so, you know, was it bad? No, but could have been better. Yeah, but they don't write a book on this crap. <laughs> you was that, ca was that cash you just cash, got? Cash, and damn, that one. it is. It's just yeah. cash. Just straight into your bank account. No, cash and stock. Stock. So wow. let's say it's overnight, eighty million in stock and twenty million in cash. Enough, yeah. that, you know. So with that money, you probably buy a house, buy yep. a boat, buy yep. a car, yep. and then you what put some in like a money do? in the stock market or the money, like a money market account. Yeah, you, you try to buy property, Bank account, you property, know, dividend good, stocks. Yeah. Um, you know, you buy some Warren Buffett. You know, some folks who <clears> you know what. What about doing. your family and friends? Were they like, whoa, this guy's like? Do people act differently? I mean, that always happens, doesn't it? You know, the friends, really, the family hasn't really, that doesn't change them. They're pretty grounded um, because that's just, um, you know, to respect the people that make this country great is in making their lives better. I mean, that's that's really the key to happiness. That's how I get fulfilled. You find yourself withdrawn, though, as you become, because it's almost like it's hard to relate to other people when you become that wealthy, right? Do you find yourself withdrawn more? No. no, I don't have a problem. I mean, I actually relate better to a waiter in a restaurant or somebody that's driving a you know truck than I do a governor. I do much better with people that work for a living and, and um, <clears throat> are scrappy than I do with people that are wealthy. I, I can do both, but, you know, I can have that repertoire. But I'd much rather be with somebody that's – I'd rather be with Rocco's Pizza next yeah, week than, uh, people. than with the vice president.